The purpose of this video is to show you how to enter data in the statistics software. I'm going to show you how to create a statistics data set and save it while working in the application gateway. A couple of caveats, a couple of thoughts before we begin. First, the application gateway I'm working with is the one that's appropriate as of August in 2022. And USF makes uh, updates and changes all the time, so just be wary if you're seeing this video and it's showing you how to navigate the file system and that's changed. Second caveat or second uh, item I want to mention is I strongly recommend you create an Excel data set and save that and then go through the uploading of that data set to the application gateway. The main reason is I'm going to create a statistics data set and uh, occasionally USF purges the system and you lose a file. If this is the only data set you have for your data, um, you would be out of luck and you'd have to enter new data at that point. If, however, you have an Excel data set that you've saved to your computer, if it wipes the statistics file off the application gateway, you still have the original data and all you have to do is upload it again. So with that said, if you want to pursue creating a statistics data set, it's really easy to do. We have a spreadsheet there. Uh, before I do anything, I have to tell statistics what to expect, and I'm going to say let's insert some variables. Now, the demonstration I was just working with in a prior video was uh, home data, so let me work with automobiles here. So the variables will be the price, the mileage, and the model. You might have price and size and location if you're working with apartments or if you're working with the homes. But I'm going to say those are the three variables, and I'm going to say okay. And when I do that, it sets up a data set that I can now work with. And I can enter prices, I can enter mileages. So maybe the first automobile is $10,000 and it has uh, 25,307 miles. Notice no commas, no dollar signs. And it's the first model of vehicle. Maybe it's a Honda Accord, but I call Honda Accord once. And then I go and do the next one. And maybe it's $12,000 and maybe it's got 32,000 and uh, four miles and it also model one and I know you're excited you got opportunity of entering 75 of these observations but when all is said and done when you get all 75 entered and it usually takes between 30 and 60 minutes to do all this work uh, we're gonna save that data set so I'm gonna click on save save contents of the active tab and now because I'm working the application gateway it should direct me to the documents tab and I'll call this uh, my data set to be deleted later. You'll probably call it project data, QMB, whatever the number is of the class you're taking, and it's going to save it on the data set. All right, so let's say I log out, I do my life, I come back in, you know, some project uh, printouts are necessary. Now to go get that data, I just click on open and it's going to go into that tab and data set to be deleted later or whatever it was you called it hit open and it's going to bring that data in and you're good to go. So uh, that's how you work with or that's how you create a statistics data set. Again, if for some reason that file disappears from the application gateway, you're SOL. You're, you gotta, you got to start all over. If, however, you had an Excel data set on your hard drive, then you can go through the process of uploading that. If you want to see how to do that, watch my application gateway video and I'll show you how to upload and then import that Excel data set. So hopefully this helps you with the task at hand. Good luck.